Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series. In today's episode, we are going to learn about button groups. Especially, it's important that when you're trying to group certain actions in a certain page, uh, it's a good user experience that you put some actions together, right? Like, for example, you would have seen print, PDF, or download etc in the same uh, kind of you know uh, layout or I would say the same um, UI element right so that element is what we are referring it to as bootstrap button groups where we are trying to put multiple buttons together in one element right so let's learn all about it in today's episode welcome back this is uh, part 14 of the bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist uh, I have planned around 40 tutorials for you so make sure you check out the playlist the playlist link is in the description box below Alright, so, so far we have explored all of this. We have done few live projects and after this episode, the next episode, we will do some more live uh, coding and template designing. So stay tuned for that as well. Alright, so let's learn about button group. So Bootstrap provides a class called btn-group, right? Now using that, we can use it to group multiple buttons, right? So you can see here, I am giving an example where we are grouping three buttons, right? Um, so let's see this in action and how we can use it to improve our user experience as a whole, right? So I'm going to use uh, an existing um, code that we created in the live application project. So make sure you check it out. Um, the code will be available to you in GitHub. All right, so what we are going to do is uh, if you want to quickly get started, the best way is go to docs in the boot get bootstrap and type button group and you would get that. So just copy, always never, never ever code from scratch. Um, always take the code, take the starter code and then customize it, right? So we have the button group, that's the DIV. We are binding three buttons, left, middle and right here. And let's see that in action. So I've added it here. So you see now we have these three. So instead of this add, so let's group them together and make it a little beautiful here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it a row, right? And I'm going to move these two inside here like this okay so you see now we have two right so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give them call hyphen um, say eight and this I'll give call hyphen four right since they're in the same row so you can assign it like that now you can adjust the height or you can say six and six and like you can give the uh, role right basically um, you can adjust the height um, the typical uh, you can also say that you can give width of it or you can arrange the how you want to format it basically right um, so what we'll do is let's take this out and let's put it here or instead what I'll do I'll create one more here okay and I'm going to group it right here. So that way we have a DIV inside DIV, right? So it's better that we separate out the code so that we don't have to repeat it. So now here I'm going to say call four and this is call eight, right? So this adds up to, so now we see this is beautiful and I'm going to say next, right? So now you see we have this left, middle and right and we have add contact here or I can reduce this and I can or I can just say MD right offset also I can use so the whichever way you want to use right so so now we have add new contact we have left right so here to make it more realistic right we can make it PDF we can make it download we can make it um, say print right these are some of the common actions that you would see now you can customize the classes and you can say primary secondary and you can give warning or you can give info any of the utility classes we can use here um, so that's up to us how, which one we want to use uh, but from a um, I would say from a usability perspective always um, give the same colors that would make much sense uh, since they are in the same action group, right? So that's about uh, buttons, right? Bootstrap button groups. You can you can use that and you can learn more about documentation 
like I showed you you can use different mix styles you can use different classes uh, you can use outline classes also let me quickly show you that also real quick here so so just copy them here and paste them back so whatever styles you can do with buttons you can do with button group right so you see here now PDF download button so this is yet another interesting way to show the actions right so that's outlined for you right and you can also use as a checkbox uh, these are again like input check boxes right so you can use them um, you can use radio button you can use toggle bar right so th these are uh, especially useful when you are doing let's say a pagination or something like that uh, extremely useful for that so give it a try um, and you can say small medium or MDs SM so you can tell the size of it uh, by default it's always uh, MD which is medium right so you can have medium by default you can change it to small or large right so go ahead give it a try with button group in the next episode we will do live uh, project before we do bootstrap alerts I want to do some live coding sessions with you to show you and build your confidence right if you have any feedback do let me know in the comment section I look forward for your positive and encouraging comments thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode